Hello y'all, this is Jamaric 5288 and today I was processing some loofah and I got the sink. Don't judge me, the sink is dirty because I've been processing loofah, but I was like, why are you just processing this stuff and not showing them how you do it? So I'm gonna show you how I turn it from this to this, see that's not pretty, right? Into something usable, I got some skin on it, but into something that normal, you know, this is what we look at, right? This is how we normally see it. You don't see it like this and this, right? So let me show you how to do it, okay? So let's go ahead and get to processing this loofah. When you pick it from the vine, you want to make sure that it's super light, right? I almost didn't catch that. <laughs> you wanna make sure that it's hollowed out and that it's crunchy. You see how it's crunchy? We want it crunchy, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this crunchy loofah, right? And we're gonna open up the ends, right? To get some water in there. And we're gonna submerge it some water. To, and we'll start peeling it until it looks like this. And then I'll show you how I get it from this to this. So let's go ahead and do it. You're going to see my hands. You're not going to see me. But you know, you don't need to see me. I'm going to put you in the sink. I've already started process some, processing some. I'm going to clean the sink out so you all will get a clear view of what it is. Because there is um, a soapy a soapy-like feel to it that comes out and it turns the water brown. But do not be discouraged. Um, we will get it to this color, if not brighter, okay? So I've run fresh water, right? And what you do is you take the loofah and you submerge it in the water and you crunch it. You get this thing nice and soft, the inside, just like a sponge. You get it nice, nice and soft. And then... You take these and you start peeling it off. Now, while you're squeezing, seeds are going to come out, right? And I harvest my seeds. See these? See them? They're coming out of the ends of the loofah. By the way, I put a hole in the side of the loofah, right? So when I squeeze, seeds start coming out. And I just collect the leaves up. Leaves up. Let me close this cabinet. I just collect the seeds up, right? And I put them on a plate to dry. There's going to be some at the top and there's going to be some at the bottom. I collect them all because I don't know. Usually the ones that, that, that are submerged, they're the vibrant ones. But because this thing is dried out, the seeds may float at the top just like beans do when you first put them in the water. And after a while, they just get submerged. So I just collect them all. I harvest all of the seeds. So then when it, when it sits in the water for a while, you're going to see that it starts to peel off. Just peel the skin off underwater it's cleaner that way you can peel it above water but it's harder and it makes a mess some people peel it that way but if you do it that way i recommend you doing it outside but it makes a mess so i'm squeezing and seeds will start spitting out of the side see that they'll start floating to the top and Check the bottom too, because some of them will be on the bottom of the water. And I peel it. Let me go back to the one I was doing. One by one. And when the water gets too fibrous with too many of these things, because they have strings on it, and then you just take it and you move the sides off. Carefully, you don't want to take your sponge off. You want to take just the skin off. So you just go against the grain and pick it off. And you'll see some seeds will be on in like right there at the top. See that? That's the seed. Pull it out. Put it in your thing. No sense in rebuying seeds. Harvest your seeds. Most likely they'll grow. More than likely you'll, they'll grow. I'm just cleaning off the rest of this. Getting off as much of the skin as possible. It comes off pretty easy, especially when, especially when it's wet, when it gets wet, when the, when the sponge part, which is the interior part, gets wet. The seeds come out, and you want to make sure you get all your seeds out so you feel it, right? You'll feel them because it's a sponge, so you'll feel a hard, you know, object inside. And the seeds are in here, inside. It's kind of like a gourd, except it's a spongy gourd. There you go.
And when you finish taking it all off and getting it all the skin off, you'll have a natural sponge. Now, some people stop here, right? When it's like this. Some people stop here and you wanna get all that. It's like a waxy, um, not sticky, but a, a waxy feel to it. You wanna make sure you get all that stuff into the water. And after a while, this water is gonna look brown because there is a, I don't know, a slimy, a slimy feel to it initially. But the more you run it through the water, the better, the, the, the less you'll feel it. It'll be gone after a while, actually. We're just going to get all of this stuff off. This is what a natural loofah sponge looks like, right? Versus this one that has been bleached. See the difference? So I'm going to leave this one natural because this one doesn't look that bad. But if they look like this, I'm going to show you what I do. Now that I've gotten them all out of their husk, look at that. See that? That is what happens. And then these seeds are no good. So there's still seeds in this water. And I'm just squeezing it to make sure that I got the seeds out. I'm just going to go through one by one and make sure there's no... This one has a seed in it. You'll feel it because it's hard. Sometimes you just got to give up and cut them in half. I don't want to because I don't want small loofah. There it is. Got it. Just came out. So I got that seed. I'm going to put it in the plate with the rest of them. And these are all the seeds that I got. Well, most of the seeds that I've gotten from here. I had some on the other plate. So I got about 20, 30 seeds out of these loofah. So now that we got all of that done, make sure there's no viable seeds in here. Just feel it one more time. For good measure, I'm just squeezing them to make sure there's nothing in there. There might be one in here. Yeah, there's still one in here. Let me see if I can get it out. Just keep on wiggling it. It'll probably come out when I put bleach in there. If the seeds go under and get bleach on them, they're no good. Just throw them out. You can't use them. You can't plant them. Yeah, there's one in here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a scissors and I'm gonna cut this one. Is it this one? No, it's this one. There it is. So I'm gonna cut it where I can still use it, but I'm gonna get this seed out. Where is it? Or is my is my feeling chip playing tricks on me? Not my mind. Not move down. No, this darn thing want to move down. This thing is just taunting me. Okay. Time to give up. You know, sometimes you just got to let it go. So I'm going to let this water out. See how the water is turning kind of dirty? We're just going to try to get all of these all of this slime out of the out of the loofah all right and because these are ugly see that they're ugly loofah we're gonna bleach them this one was not ugly and make these look like this so this is how you this is how you'll get them if you buy them in the store they bleach them or they use some, some other kind of um detergent to get that color out because they're stained from the husk. So I'm going to set fresh clean water and I'll bring you back. I'm going to put just enough water to cover the loofah. I'm going to take some of my bleach, my Dollar Tree bleach. I don't measure. I just throw a whole bunch in there. And we're going to let this sit. And when we, if you see one side already getting, getting white, turn it. So I'm going to let this sit for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, and I'll bring you back. So it's been sitting there about 30 minutes, and you can see that it's getting clearer. See these? This one is already white. I'll just take this one out. It has a couple of spots on it right there. 
I'll let it sit in for a little while. But this one, this one is done. And as they become, you know, white, pull them out and wash them off because the, the Clorox is eating away. It's not, it's eating away at the, um, the brown spots, but it's also eating away at the fibers. So we don't want to sit it in there too long. I think I'll take him out too. So these three I'm going to take out and wash off. And I just ran cold water over them. I'm going to take a sniff. And if I smell any chlorox, I'm going to, I'm going to do it again. Okay, squeeze them out and then you set them out to air dry where they're well vented. I just use the uh, dish rack, reshape them and put it on dish rack. And these are the small ones, but you can use them for your face and everything. And we're going to wait for the rest of these to finish bleach. And I'm down to my last one. So I want to show you the difference between one that has been processed and bleach and one that has not. So this was what they used to look like. And this is one of the better ones. So I didn't bleach it and I'm going to use it. And this, this is what's been bleached. So you'll see these in the store, but this, this is how you get it all natural. So if you see one that's darker, it's not processed in bleach. It's up to you. This one looks better, but this one is more natural. So this is Jamaica 5288. I just wanted to show you the process for loofah, unbleached and bleached. And this is what it comes from, a loofah <laughs> out there on the tree. Wait till they're dried up. Wait till they're dried up and light so you can pinch it and hold it. When they're not ready, they're heavy. You can process them green, but it's going to be harder to peel. So unprocessed, just with water and peeling and processed and then bleached. I'll see you guys on the next one. Okay. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.